everybody, this is Praxis, and I'm back at work here in the root cellar. Uh, yesterday, uh, I was pulling these things through this tube. You guys were over in the pantry while Amber and River were helping me get this stuff fed through. This is the hose. Uh, this is the Romex wire, and this is the extension cable that I pulled through. The extension cord is running this light here. Where uh, This is actually one of the lights that's going to be installed in here. It's a strip light with LEDs in it. Uh, it runs about 25 watts. We're going to have one up on this side, one up on that side. I think they'll make kind of a nice ambient light, uh, you know, if we're in here working or, you know, God forbid, living in here for any kind of extended period of time. Uh, in terms of this hose, uh, if you recall yesterday, there was some question as to whether or not it was long enough. Uh, as it turns out, I, I made a mistake. Uh, I thought that it was about 27 feet uh, from one side to the other. It turns out it's just it's pretty close to 35, so I think there maybe was a little bit more bend in this tube than I thought there was. I remember that there was some kind of a bend to it, uh, so that added a couple feet. Also, I wasn't uh, super uh, meticulous with my measuring, so I think the, the curve added a little bit of error, my sloppy measuring added a little bit of error, so it's not a huge deal. I'm just going to add a 10 foot section on the other end and that'll give us plenty of extra. What I'm working on right now is the stuff related to the Romex wire. I want to do uh, some outlets in here so it's not just a bunch of extension cords all across the floor. This is going to come in here and there's going to be a box right here where this Romex wire will go in. There'll be a, a GFCI outlet in there. And the reason I want to have the GFCI in here as opposed to in the, uh, in the house is so that if you're in here and you pop the GFCI, you don't have to run all the way back into the house to turn it back on. You can just do it right here to make it a lot simpler. So this is going to hardwire directly into the breaker box and GFCI is going to be here. From there, uh, there's going to be an outlet down below uh, and then there's going to be a conduit that's going to run along the ceiling. It's going to go to an outlet about mid-wall here. Then over to the other side, there's going to be a toggle switch, and the toggle switch is going to feed up to another electrical box with an outlet in it. So that's going to be a switchable outlet, so when you flip the switch, it turns that outlet on or off, and that outlet is going to be what powers all of these LED lights. Now, I could have done them kind of hardwired, but I, I like the idea of modularity where, you know, if for some reason the lights aren't working out, or, you know, who knows, whatever, I, if I want to go to something like, you know, lower power, uh, I can essentially plug whatever I want into that outlet and it all becomes switchable. So it just makes it a lot easier to kind of uh, modify things later. Will there be some little extension cords just kind of uh, you know, dressed up along the edge? Yeah, but I mean, they're going to be up along the edge. I think I might make a little trough with wood to you know, keep it handsome and attractive looking. Uh, so what I'm working on right now is uh, putting uh, holes in for putting in these boxes. This is that hammer drill set. Last time I used this was out on those rocks getting ready to put in the woodshed and now I've got a much smaller bit. I had the biggest bit I had before. This is a 5 30 seconds bit and I've got my four marks, uh, uh, my holes marked off right here and here we go. Oh, and it makes a ton of dust. So we want to do that and eye protection, especially since it's up over my head, the eye protection. But yeah, I mean, it's a good idea anyway. Here we go. Do one here. And I think you can definitely see why I've got the, uh, the respirator on. It throws a lot of dust up in the air. So I'm going to be putting the boxes along here. Uh, I've only got so much Romex left, actually. I had a huge coil for building the house. Uh, I'm actually going to run out doing this job, so I will have to buy a little more Romex to finish this up. But uh, overall, this is a pretty simple uh, wiring pattern, so I'm not that worried about it. That's it. Thanks for watching.